Senator Ashley Dolan. And welcome to all our attendees today. It's great to have you here and a huge wealth of knowledge. I suppose uh, there's a couple of queries just on some of your submissions, maybe. So I might just pose as I go through. Um, but I suppose just to say thank you. I know uh, from the HSE, Michael, in terms of your uh, submission as well. I mean, I know you went through sort of the, I suppose, the elements that we have within the HSC and within our CHOs in terms of local engagement, I thought that that was quite important. Uh, but I suppose there's probably a few more questions there about how you see perhaps how those area leads for local engagement, how does that link in with third level? I suppose that was maybe just the step I was missing there. Is it that that's local engagement for people going through mental health issues in the community? Or do they also link in with third level? So I suppose it was just the question there. For Dr. Joseph Duffy, uh, sorry, thank you so much. <laughs> Looking between the two Josephs. Uh, thank you so much for uh, Jigsaw. Um, last Saturday, I come from Bonnesloe. I represent uh, East Galway and Roscommon. Uh, but there was an amazing event held by the GAA club in Caltra, uh, working with Jigsaw, working with the other sports clubs, the athletic club, and with the, the ladies as well there. Um, and it was a wonderful initiative where it brought together local uh, sports celebrities, well, national, uh, the, the likes of Michael Meaden, who would have, heard their family did so much for Galway football, of course, but also they brought together referees, commentators, they brought a comedian together, you know, Father Michael or Sir Steve-O came together and they spoke with uh, local families and children about the pressures on young people. And it was just an amazing initiative in a rural area bringing all of these groups together to say that this is a huge issue for us right now. And I suppose I just wanted to pay tribute to that, but also just to acknowledge what Jigsaw does, I think, at a local level. And I think you supported, your local group supported that initiative there. Um, I suppose for me, there was a little bit of speaking as well earlier, just about the inequity of access and how this is very important, I think, at second level as well as at third level, but at second level is where we make a difference. And there's recently been an allocation through DESH funding, for example, where now over 240,000 students can access DESH supports, which means that there are smaller class sizes, that you're getting additional access to, I suppose, uh, mental health supports as well within the school. Um, and I sort of feel that that is the way we need to move towards. We need to be providing these additional supports at a school level. Yes, we can talk about Susie, and there's currently a review going on with Minister Simon Harris in that regard, but in terms of the DESH support has been rolled out to both primary and secondary, I think that's really crucial. I don't know if you just might have some comments around that. Um, and then also, what other supports can we look at at a secondary school level to prepare our children? Because dropouts are a huge issue when you get to third level. And I might maybe bring it to Trish here as well, just I know you're coming to us here representing Trinity College as well as, I suppose, your background in psychotherapy. But just, you know, the dropouts that happen at first year, like we need to be focusing on our secondary schools to make sure that all of our career guidance teachers, that the apprenticeship program now, we're seeing the rollout in the CAO form, that there's additional courses been available, that we're trying to ensure that students, as well as with the new uh, report that's come out with Minister Norma Foley under education, that they're expanding the transition year. And I suppose maybe some of your comments around the expansion of that transition year in secondary school under leave and start reform. And also how do we now look at managing the dropouts through the the broadening of the apprenticeship program, how can third level work with their work with secondary schools or with career guidance about you know the the width of opportunities for students that they don't have to come through sometimes the more traditional routes into college and about how they can achieve their qualifications. Um, sorry, and I might just leave it there for a few seconds and I have a couple of other questions if I have time to come back in. Thank you. So I might Joseph Duffy, I might start first and sorry then Michael Ryan and Trish. To your question in relation to focusing on maybe on the on the second level, um, one of the one of the issues that I think is hugely important in terms of thinking, particularly about youth mental health, is the transitions. We know the transition from primary into secondary school is a key time in terms of a stressor for young people, and also the transition from secondary into third level, if that if that's to occur. One of the points I was making in the submission earlier on was the importance of including well-being in the curricula. Yes. And I think it's mm. hugely important to do that within the, the, the second level system to enable and support young people 
who can have, I suppose, the skills and the wherewithal and the confidence to apply for third level. I think that's yes. a really, really big issue in terms of it. And you know, when you read some of the reports and looking at, at uh, uh, some of the research that's been done, it looked at those from uh, socially disadvantaged backgrounds. And their experience was that they were relying on a teacher or a career guidance or somebody else to help them to think yeah. about their career choices. And how do we ensure that they have, the, that they have the confidence to do that? So my main point would be to think about not just uh, the funding of, of, of higher education separately, it's thinking about the supports in second level. Oh, and what's completely. the funnel and the support that's going to go in there and early intervention and prevention? Is, and is, I, I think, I think if I might follow on from that, I, and again, just I know for the my university in Galway, I knew my Galway, they became the first mindfulness university. And I think that's something that all universities now are putting in place, but that that mindfulness theme is so crucial. Mm. Uh, sorry, Michael, I might just bring you in as well. Just that local engagement, those 35 local engagement needs, is there a link there with third level or maybe... I think it's a very good <clears throat> question you ask, I mean, because there's an expertise we have de developed in terms of uh, I engaging with communities of service users and I suppose uh, uh, tapping into their, their, their knowledge around re recovery and um, that that is very transferable to, to the, the, the colleges. We already have uh, it, um, partnership with our recovery colleges, that the, it's, it's linked to NUIG, it, it's linked to DCU, to GMIT in Mayo, um, okay. and that's been recognised kind of as a, as a, as a, as a world first of where, where we're third level. And, and, and so you're, you're working with the student counselling <coughs> services at third level through the CHO local leads? No, it's what it's. It's actually kind of trying to set up as a department within the the. Uh, okay. The, so both to support uh, students, uh, uh, but but also to um, uh, help the development of the recovery approach w within the disciplines. Okay. Uh, thank so you. It's, so it's an educational resource. My apologies for rushing. It's just my time is tight. I might just bring it over to Trish as well. Just a little bit the points there. I suppose just about the dropout levels and maybe yeah. yeah the other so points I'd I'd obviously all third level are very conscious of dropout <coughs> levels. Uh, so yeah. the feedback from student counselling is that we're hugely impactful in, in retaining people in college. But there is an innovation and transformation program currently underway where there's a model of peer assisted um, support happening in third level. And in Trinity, we've had it for a long time called student to student, yeah. um, where student mentors, every student, incoming student, has a mentor, a student mentor who's trained that stays with them for a year. Um, and we hope that the new pilot program for, for more support will be implemented across all third level colleges soon. It plays a huge part in getting people to stay and making them feel like they belong. Yeah, I just think it's crucial that, obviously you're saying there about the mentorship is so crucial and I know like we've spoken here and apologies, I know you might not be able to get in straight away, but I know uh, Mr. Smith and Mr. Morning as well, it is really crucial that we get those additional supports. Like I know that we have over half a million that's gone to Trinity College in terms of mental health supports mm -hmm. in the last two years. And that it has been to recruit additional counsellors and to support those students. And I would love to see probably this year coming, now that we have the CAO form that's been expanded to include apprenticeship programmes and further in higher education, I suppose the level of dropouts across all of third level. You know, if we're going mm -hmm. to use these other resources and supports through further and higher education, we're pumping a lot of investment into our technological universities as well. Does the level of dropout change at the end of first year? So again, sorry, apologies, we might have time at the end. No, there's you. no time, uh, <laughs> but we might have time uh, when we're, when we're <laughs> okay, finished. Yeah.